Hi y'all, I'm Allison. It is Tuesday, September 17th. Now, if you're keeping up with all of these, don't worry, you didn't miss a day. I didn't film yesterday. I will give you a recap on that here in just a little bit. But first, I have a very limited amount of time. The afternoon is creeping by really quickly. Creeping by really is going by really quickly. So if I'm gonna find out Nicilla's fate for today and make it to my afternoon classes, the, there's no time to waste so let's grab our fate deck see what's going to happen and see if i can actually manage to make it to some of my classes today i did make it to my first one this morning but i'm running out of time for the afternoon let me find the fate deck we will do this and later on i will give you the rundown on me yesterday I'll let you know what the universe did to me because of course they had to mess with me some more and how my morning went and then we'll pick up from there okay this afternoon, Nasilla Fenders ate her homework. Lose 30 minutes of class time redoing the assignment. I can't lose 30 minutes. That's just mean. Okay. Uh, or, or we're going to take it off of the afternoon. So I'm going to lose either 30 minutes of study hall or elemental studies. I don't know. We will. Is it elemental? It is elemental. So I'll figure that out in a little bit. Um, I need to figure out what I can take to study hall. Honestly, I'm behind in everything. I don't really think I have a shot at getting any of these books finished in time. So I'm just going to grab what sounds the most appealing. What would be good for my soul at the moment. And you know what? I think I'm going to go to restoration. Because I missed the morning class yesterday and the evening class. I was supposed to have it three times. I only went once. So I'm going to do this for study hall spend some time out at Hogwarts and see if I can recoup some of my day. All right, I will be back with y'all after this. And like I said, I'll give you the rundown then. Bye. Okay, it's much later in the day and we are going to test my memory because before we proceed further in how Tuesday played out, let's roll back the clock to yesterday, which would have been the 16th. And I had a full schedule for Monday. Here's all the classes I was supposed to go to. And if you're thinking that I didn't go to all of them, you're right. Because <laughs> I, I didn't. Instead, the universe decided to chime in once again. And I started out my morning. I, I don't even remember. I don't even think I made it to one of my classes before everything started to just go a little haywire. I think I was still just trying to find my brain and gear up for the day and, you know, I, I, I'm a slow starter in the morning. I have to stare off into space for about an hour before I can even contemplate doing anything, which is why I didn't start filming yesterday morning because um, my contractor called. We were supposed to <laughs> do my kitchen sink and counter take care of all of that this week but he called and you know, he started out wanting to know if the shower and everything was okay make sure we didn't have any leaks over the weekend and everything is working perfectly with that we're we're all good to go yay but when I asked him I was like well, so what are we looking at for the counter because we didn't have any set days yet he goes actually that's something I wanted to talk to you about so apparently the granite cutter called him and his machine is down. The cutting machine, which by the way, is like the size of a whole room, the machine itself. Some parts broke on it and there's back order on the parts. So he's waiting for those parts to come in. And it was just like, are you kidding me? So he was, my contractor was like, yeah, I hated to call and tell you this. And I was just like, you know, it's okay. I said, even if it falls into what next week, it might work out better for me because Tuesday, meaning today, my mom had a doctor's appointment out in Fort Worth. And then Thursday, she's got a dentist appointment right smack dab in the middle of the day. So I was just like, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to work everything around the appointments because I might be like rushing to get back home before y'all get here or trying to kick you out of the house so we can make appointments. So next week is supposed to be much calmer for me as far as commitments on where I have to be and everything. So if we don't get to the counter until then, I'm okay with it. I said it'd probably be less stressful. 
And he was just like, oh, thank God. Because <laughs> he said it would be less stressful for him as well. So we are delaying that for a week. And uh, I'm starting to feel like a jinx. Because I don't think I ever mentioned it before when everything that was going on last week. Also, it turns out my mom needs a root canal. It was an old tooth that she already had one on before. It's not causing her pain or anything. But when I did take her into the dentist, there are signs of an infection. So they want to go in and redo it. We went to uh, her going to a specialist for that because it's going to be through a crown. And so when I made the appointment for her, they said they could do the consultation and take care of that tooth all in the same day. I was like, perfect. No time to worry about it. And so we get there and it turns out their laser was down. They do that with laser now. And they were waiting on back ordered parts. So I, I'm beginning to think I'm a jinx. <laughs> So we were only able to do the consultation. If she was in a lot of pain or anything, they would have done it the old school way. But they said that since it didn't seem to be causing her any trouble, that we could just wait until their equipment was back up and running and schedule it for then. So we'll be doing that on this Thursday. But it's just like, really nothing can go, nothing's clear cut. Everything has to start, stop, start, stop. Maybe it's because I need to get back into the start and stop buddy race. I'm thinking about that but anyway back on topic so that's what's going on with the construction stuff I got that news in the morning that kind of derailed me a little bit but not too bad and then I had to uh, my mom and I went and ran some errands I take her up to the salon to get her hair washed so uh, she's not leaning over the tub because she doesn't like to wash her hair in the shower it kind of creeps her out the thought of all of that shampoo going down her back I don't know why that's okay if that's She's more comfortable doing it that way. That's fine. So we kind of go have social hour at the salon. We've gotten to know the ladies there and we just sit around and gossip, which is a nice little break. I didn't make notes. So anyway, we go do all of that stuff. And then it turns out my, my son, we've been, his girlfriend and I have been, you know, taking turns, getting him back and forth to work and everything. He gets quite a long break in the middle of the day for lunch. So she typically picks him up and then apparently she had a migraine. So he asked me if I could pick him up because he didn't take any lunch. And so I went and did that. And, and then I finally made it to my first class, which was elemental studies, which was took us into the afternoon. But I only managed to get 45 minutes of that class in. And, and that's okay. And that book, by the way, was Statue of Limitations. So in the afternoon, we had an airport run because my daughter went to Miami to go see her boyfriend. She's so excited about it. We got to the airport plenty of time. And she called me shortly after I got home. And the poor thing missed her flight. And she was just hysterical. She was crying and so upset. So I talked her down on that phone and everything it turned out. They told her she could go standby, try and get on the next flight, which she managed to do. And I was online trying to see which flights were available, where the receipts were, trying to reassure her, telling her, okay, your odds are looking good for this one, but I don't know about this one. So anyway, it only ended up delaying her for an hour. She was able to get the next flight out and get down to Miami on the last two hours. That was okay, but lots of drama. And my heart just broke for her. I felt so bad not being able to reassure her, be there and, you know, give her a shoulder to cry on or guide her through it because you know she had never experienced that on her own before but I told her it's kind of like a bad hair cut you know, now it's like she has completed that rite of passage she has her airport horror story everybody's got one you travel everybody's got a story at the airport she has hers now and thankfully it was a low-key drama everything turned out okay but Needless to say, that derailed the hours of my afternoon. So that brought us into the evening, and I was quite worn out by this point. But I did manage to, even though I'd only gotten 45 minutes of this class earlier in the day, I managed to get another 30 minutes after I knew that she got on her flight. It was like 5.30. She was taken off. So I went ahead, went to class to finish this up for the afternoon, and I finished it. So I actually finished a book. I didn't complete a class though because this is elemental studies. I still have two more books to go in this one, but I did it. I got one under my belt. 
So I actually ended up enjoying this. It wasn't quite what I expected based on the cover, but it was a good time. And I will be writing up my essay. I'm going to write it up, but save it. And I won't actually post it on Storygraph or Goodreads until the, uh, yeah, after this video goes up, I can do it. I think that would be the way to do it. So as of this point, I have a 70 for this particular part of the book. I still have to register at G's and get my essay written to get the full 100. And I get to move on to the next class, next book in that class, which I did manage to start. So I had the Spanish Love Deception. So yeah, I started that the same day because I, I think I got my timing off somewhere. I don't know. It's earlier in the day I, I read this and then after the airport theme, I think it only took me like 20 minutes to finish this. And then I had another 20 minutes. So I started this one. Didn't get far into it, but at least I got it started. So I will take any progress I can get. And so far, I'm okay with it. I'm curious to see why people didn't like it. Started out pretty good. We, we will see how it plays out. Of course, in 20 minutes, I didn't get very far into it. So that finally brings us to Monday evening and restoration. I'm reading the illustrated Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. Loving every second of it. And you saw when I set up my schedule, I, I glossed over it, but I miss the morning class with this, with everything else. And I was so excited. I wanted so bad to start my days with this. And the time that I had a morning class with it, I didn't even get to it. But I did get to it Monday night for my Monday evening class. I didn't start it until like 7.45 and it took me until like 9.15 to finally get a full hour in. But I did it. I got one hour. Then I had to do some stuff around the house and I managed to go to animal studies. And I started that class at 10.30 at night. And that, what was that? That was, oh, I think that's. Yes, King of Scars. So I am making progress in this. Really enjoying it. So I am so glad I'm back in the Grishaverse. So I made it quite far. At least hit the halfway point. This is the only book for this class. So maybe I can actually finish this class. I don't know. We will see. But that took me all the way through Monday. And with all the chaos and everything, I completely forgot to pull a fake card. But the universe kind of took care of that for me. <laughs> So it, it stepped in and decided what my fate was. It was just chaos all day. So anyway, this brings us back to Tuesday. Okay, I did go to Patriot Games this morning. I started it at 8.46. And I read for an hour. And then I had to take my mom to the doctor's office out in Fort Worth. And her appointment was at 10.30. We left a little late. We almost missed it because there was a wreck right before construction. But we made it and then she needed her allergy shot which is also in fort worth and it turns out they close for the allergy shot at like 11 40 and they didn't resume doing them till like two o'clock in the afternoon and of course we finished at the doctor at like 11 37 so we had to kill all this time out in fort worth otherwise we'd just have to go back again tomorrow and i was like i need a day at home so we spent the whole afternoon out in Fort Worth running errands and whatnot. Took her to Costco, got her cookies. She was a happy little camper. <laughs> you would have thought we went to Disney World. It was cute. But I think it took us five hours before we got back home. Doctor's appointment went great. Got her allergy shot. Did lunch. Ran errands. All good. But, you know, I missed my astronomy class, which as good as dead. Oh, I wanted to go to that. I, I'll have to get it the next time. And then for a study hall this afternoon, what did I do? I did go to study hall. Yeah, I decided to go to restoration because I needed some downtime. I just wanted to escape. And what better than some illustrations of Hogwarts, thanks to Jim Kay. So I did do that this afternoon. And... It took me three hours to do it, but I managed to attend two hours of study hall in this class. So look how close I am. I'm getting there. I'm going to be sad when I finish it. 
but it's okay. Yeah, so that was study hall, and that took us through the afternoon. Oh, wait, except there was elemental studies. Which was, which one's that? <laughs> ah, that's back to this one. I don't think... Oh, I read this for about 30 minutes. So, and that finished out the afternoon. I've made it like 70 pages in here with, a, I think, a, an hour reading time. The main character, I'm not sure that I like her or not. She's very antagonistic towards the guy, which personally, I think he's a little bit charming. I, I like him, but I don't, I don't know. She seems, I'm really annoyed with him, and I'm not sure that it's sound reasoning. We will see as more of their background plays out, but this is a fake dating one. So, I don't know. I'm 70 pages in, and I still have a whole nother book after this one. So, we'll see. Um, I'm not holding out much hope for elemental studies, because if you remember my calendar, this is my first exam, so I've got less than a week for this. It's not looking good. So, that leaves me with one more class for tonight. <sighs> I'm worn out. It's already like 9.30. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make it to class. Because I also um, am working on editing. So y'all have a video. Uh, part two, I think, is what I'm working on. And shape-shifting. This is what I have. This is the only book for that class. And look how close I am. Within two hours, I'm sure I could finish this thing. I'm on 226. And it ends on 292 I've got about 70 pages so probably about an hour so maybe I'll make a point to read this before I go to bed tonight I could potentially finish a whole class that would be crazy because then all of those class times would turn into study hall and I need that so I am going to head out see if I can finish editing that attend this class and I'm hungry I, I, I don't know I got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it, it just seems the story of my life okay I will catch y'all after I find out how the rest of this evening plays out okay bye I'm back it's like 11 15 it took longer than I expected but guess what I finished it in fact I finished shape-shifting class completely so the remaining times for that one get to turn into study hall and I'll be able to choose whichever book I want to read up until exam time for that one which I don't know if that was too sad I don't know I'm just gonna shake it because so, I need all the help I can get which means this week on Thursday it'll be a study hall time come in so handy now as far as the book itself I didn't care for it turns out that who I thought was the main character actually wasn't the main character the character who I did like the most was the main character and even then I didn't I just didn't really care for this and I was reading the back again and the back is not actually what happened in the story and I hate when they do that because this sounded like something I would really enjoy and it's not what happened within the book so I have a feeling I will be unhauling this one. I will write up my my review. Well, I'll get into that a little bit more there. And again, hold on to it until probably this video goes up. Then that can go up. So, yay. Important thing is I finished a class. So as of this moment, I have a 70 in this one. We'll see if I can get everything done before my exam date comes up. And this was my last one for today, as you can see on the schedule. I am done. I went to most of my classes, considering how busy my day was. I'm actually quite proud of myself and quite brain dead. I am tired. I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go put on my PJs and probably just crawl into bed here in a few minutes because it's been a very long day. I am looking forward to tomorrow, which everybody really liked the time portal idea. So I think we'll just do that again since tomorrow is Wednesday and we'll see what random day comes up that Nasilla is going to land in and follow that class schedule for the day because 
I can't afford to lose a whole day. All right. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, 